What do you have, guys? Today I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm making a video in me Newfie accent. Me real accent. Honestly, I got a whole lot that I want to say and I don't even know where to get started. So uh, I'm just gonna start talking. Yes, I do have a Newfie accent. And yes, it actually is pretty strong, especially when I'm like home talking to me mother and me fodder or hanging out with the boys or whatever. But uh, when I'm on YouTube, I just kind of cover it up a little bit. You might still be able to hear it sometimes, but uh, there's a lot of things we say in Newfoundland that uh, <laughs> I try not to say in videos. First of all, one of the big things in Newfoundland is we don't really like THs. Like, what's the point of a TH? Just go on and get rid of it. I think that'd be a great idea. To tell you the truth, I'm not really sure why it's like that, but that's just how it is. If you're counting in Newfoundland, it's not one, two, three. Is one, two, three. Obviously, I go on and on with examples of that, but I think you're gonna get a good idea by the end of the video uh, how that works, okay? Another big thing you need to know about Newfoundlanders is we likes to put S's on stuff that shouldn't have S's on it. We likes to conjugate our verbs improperly. I'm not really sure why. We got a saying in Newfoundland, loves it. And it just means I love it. But we says, I loves it instead. So, so that's a, that's the thing. La, why don't I just get uh, Wikipedia to tell you all about it instead of trying to explain it myself. TH stopping. That thing over there becomes that thing over there. This is derived from Hiberno English. I don't know what that is. Slit fricative T. My God, that sounds like a swear word to me. Here's another big one that uh, doesn't apply to me, but it does apply to a lot of people in Newfoundland. I had a teacher who was like it. H dropping. You, you take a word that's supposed to have an H on it, you take it off and you take a word that, that doesn't have an H on it, and you put one on. I don't know why. So, you're not going home, you're going home. And you're not uh, putting in, a, in an offer, you're putting in a hoffer. Not really sure why. Like I said, doesn't apply to me. Oh, here's a big one that I didn't say already, but it's obviously pretty important, and you've already noticed it. In Newfoundland, we don't say my, we say me. So if I was going to tell you that I, I got a car, I'd say that's me car over there instead of that's my car over there. There's a million and one sayings in Newfoundland and we're not going to go over them all. You got A by, yes by, where you at, stay where you're at till it comes where you're to. I've never actually heard anyone use it in real life, but uh, it's certainly a fun one. Get on the go. That means go out and do something. Having a time. Having fun. Look, there's too much here for me to make a whole video going through all this, so I'm not gonna do it. What I did is I made a community post and I told you guys I wanted to make a video like this. So, let's take a look. Guys, I have the urge to do something I've never done before on YouTube. I wanna make a video using my real accent. I'm pretty good at speaking without it, obviously, since I've been doing it for years. Ask me questions down below, and maybe if I don't change my mind, I'll answer them in a special video. I'm shook to the fucking core that I don't know what you really sound like. After all these years, who even are ya? Oh God, who even am I? What's happening? Okay, that's uh, that's the top comment, at least now. I don't really know how the algorithm works. So, uh, yeah. You better be shook, okay? <laughs> God, this is this is really weird, isn't it? Like, I, I, I feel myself like flip-flopping back and forth because I've never really sat in front of a camera and spoke Newfie. Because it just feels weird, because we say so many things that people don't understand, you know? And it's like cathartic to go home to Newfoundland and hang out with the boys and just shoot the shit and, uh, and say all kinds of funny stuff that no one's gonna understand if I'm on the mainland. As you can tell, I'm gonna try and read these comments as if a Newfie wrote them, all right? When will the madness end? How long must we suffer at your hands before your ravenous blood loss is quenched? Are we just your toys? Your playthings. If you have the power to do so, why don't you just end this charade and send our world into the abyss? Do you fear the inevitable end of things and try to postpone it as much as you can? Do you torment us because you yourself are being constantly tormented by the ghosts of your past? You are but a husk of your former self, Matt Shea. It is only a matter of time until the void consumes our world and takes you with it. Well, Jesus, bye. I suppose that's not so bad. Also, will your channel be doing anything new or different for the new decade, XOXO? Probably not. Probably gonna just do the same thing I always does, which is nothing. <laughs> so Matt, what do you think of moose? This is a serious question. Don't treat it like a joke. I loves moose. Father used to take me moose hunting when I was a kid, and though I don't really like killing stuff, and I, I haven't killed a moose, they taste pretty good. And honestly, would you rather eat a cow or a chicken that's in some sort of cage somewhere, or would you rather go out, shoot a moose, and then eat that for months? That's right. It's actually more humane to eat a moose than to eat a cow. 
and that's a fact. Honestly though, moose are lots of fun until you're in your car going 100 kilometers an hour down the highway and then there's a moose in the middle of the road because they are humongous, like 500 pounds or more. And if you hits one of those at that speed, you're probably gonna die. And, and that's actually a real concern in Newfoundland. We got a little signs on the side of the road, says number of moose accidents this year, and they change it every time someone hits a moose. Uh, so yeah, moose are great, but they're also pretty friggin' scary. When it comes to making videos, has there ever been a video you made just for money, not the enjoyment? Lots of times, I mean, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> I'm pretty good at faking stuff, aren't I? Isn't that what I've been doing all these years? Um, I'm trying to think of a, of a video in particular that I didn't enjoy. There's been series that I kept up because the views were so good. And it's kind of hard to separate between, am I doing this because I likes it? Or am I doing this because I'm getting a lot of views? Because honestly, on, on, on the average day, I'd rather make a video that I didn't enjoy very much and get a whole bunch of views than make a video that I spent all kinds of time on that ends up getting none. That's just how it is, man. It's a, it's a balancing act. That's, that's how I look at it. So you got to do stuff you like and you got to do stuff that gets views and, uh, and then you can kind of bounce back and forth between the two. Can you say your full name in your accent? My name is Matthew Edward J. Wait, your real accent. You mean your current one is fake. I mean, like everybody, like on TV, you, you, you want to sound a little bit proper and, and I don't sound very proper. Like nobody in Newfoundland sounds very proper and you can usually pick out a Newfoundland accent pretty well. Like I was, uh, I was over visiting my brother in Calgary uh, a couple months ago, and uh, <laughs> there was there was a fella sitting down at the table, and I and I as soon as I heard him speak, I was like that that fella's from Newfoundland. I gotta talk to him. I was like, yes, boy. And he was like, oh yeah, what are you at there, buddy? Right? Like it's a, there's a certain amount of uh, camaraderie or whatever when it comes to Newfoundlanders. Like you see a Newfoundlander, and and you feels like you're home. You hear you hear a Newfie accent, and you're like, oh. That's some good to hear, because they're, they're nicest people in Canada, and can't they, people says Canada is the nicest place in the world. Newfoundlanders are nice people in Canada, and it's the truth. The main the mainlanders goes to Newfoundland. They says everybody in Newfoundland was so nice and so hospitable, and they were just great people, and it's true. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's tons of people in Newfoundland I'd recommend you not associate with, because they're arseholes. But it's like that everywhere. And you know what? I, I, I'm just gonna continue this this thought here for a minute. I think the reason that Newfoundlanders are so nice is because in Newfoundland you gotta enjoy the little things because the economy is bad. Ours fell right out of the economy ages ago. The year I was born, 1993, cod moratorium. They said you can't you can't catch cod anymore. And Newfies are like, well, what 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 are we gonna eat for dinner? Right? Pretty much the biggest industry in Newfoundland is the oil industry. And and you know that's going away because you know fossil fuels burning dinosaurs can't do that forever the weather in newfoundland don't get me started on the weather okay the uh, what was it like three weeks ago there was a snowstorm 93 centimeters overnight now come on now that's a lot of snow i think it might have been over a couple of days it was one snowstorm 93 centimeters over one snowstorm you can look up uh time lapse of it gross snow going right up over the cars what's the most canadian thing you've ever done honestly Drinking maple syrup out of the bottle, because I've done that a lot, because maple syrup is deadly. We says deadly a lot in Newfoundland, just means awesome, just so you know. What's your favorite mobile game you've played on the channel? Huh. Huh. Play, play a lot of mobile games now. Kind of hard to keep track of them all. Most of them are awful. Probably Battle Cats. I mean, it's not even like the best game in the world or anything, but I've just made so many videos on it now. Played it a hundred times. Probably put hundreds of hours into it, so let's go with that. I don't know. Uh, why would you not speak in your real accent all the time? Am I missing something? Uh, I think I already explained this, but uh, just because just it throws people off, right? You're watching some guy and you're like, what did he just say? So like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna check yourself and uh, you know, try, and <laughs> try and speak in a way that's palatable to a, a, a larger audience, it uh, might be a good idea to not speak like a newfie. I mean, I'm not ashamed of it. Don't get me wrong. I love being from Newfoundland. It's the, my f favorite thing about myself because like everybody is always interested in like, oh, Newfoundland, yeah. Either that or they, they don't know where it is. I'm like the, like the dog, like the Newfoundland dog. And they're, oh yeah, I know it's Newfoundland. There's a Labrador dog as well, uh, Labrador Retriever. So the Newfoundland is actually uh, two places. Uh, sorry, Labrador, 
uh, I don't always think of you as part of Newfoundland because you're, you're really not. The, the, the province itself is called Newfoundland and Labrador. Labrador is attached to, to Quebec. And then Newfoundland is the island. So, like... It's not the same thing. What is your favorite video you've made or game you've made a series on? 100% The Sims 4. Because The Sims 4 is just uh, the perfect way to tell a story. And I know I haven't played the game in in months and months and months. But, uh, yeah. I love The Sims 4. I, I, I feel kind of... Um, what's the word here? I feel intimidated when I play The Sims 4 these days. Because there's like 18,000 expansion packs. And like every single one is $40. I'm after spending that much money on it, and I guess in the game, and I don't recognize any of the stuff in the game anymore, because last time I played it, I had like one expansion pack. I'm like, what's that supposed to be over there? What's, what kind of shower is that? That's a weird toilet. Do you want kids in the future? What gender? How many? Uh, I don't think I guess to choose gender by. I think I'm going to have to leave that up to the, uh, the sperm cells or however baby making works, but uh, I mean... You know, the dream is probably to have a boy and a girl, because it's nice to have one of each. I got a cousin back home in, in Fogo, where I'm from, and uh, he's got three kids, and they're all boys. And my God, what a time I has in that house. Y they might be watching it. Uh, their names are uh, William, Eli, and Andrew. Shout out to them. Uh, I do know that a lot of their friends watch my videos, so um, yeah, they're, they're probably going to be excited about a video like this. I'd say a lot of people in Newfoundland are be like, wow, Matt, Matt Shea's actually talking like a Newfoundlander, because... A lot of people are like, you're from Newfoundland. I didn't even know, like, you didn't have an accent. I'm like, well, that's because I'm pretty good at just not speaking in an accent, right? Like, sometimes I I'm, I just want to talk like a human being. <laughs> Again, loves Newfoundland. Nothing against it. I'm just trying to survive in a world full of people who aren't Newfoundlanders. Can you recite the tongue twister? Betty Botter. Never heard of Betty Botter. Betty Botter bought a bit of butter. But, she said, this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my batter better. Then she bought a bit of butter, better than the bitter butter, made her bitter batter better. So twas Betty, better Betty butter, bought a bit of better butter. That was the most redundant thing I've ever heard. Like, it's just bitter batter, better butter, butter, better, better, Betty. The whole time. My favorite tongue twister is probably Peter Piper picked up a pack of pickled peppers because that's, that's fun. That's a fun one. Just looking through these comments, I uh, I want to point something out. Um, I did make a video on the Newfoundland accent kind of before. I made a video on Newfoundland videos, I believe. Just showing people what Newfoundland accents are like. And uh, if you want to look that one up, I'm not sure what it's called now. Just look up Matche Newfoundland, you'll probably find it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some absolute classic viral videos from Newfoundland. Like there's one where there's a lady... And she's uh, she's just filming the waves crashing against the shore. It's winter, it's winds blowing, it's ugly out, and uh, <laughs> and and the waves end up hitting her, and she goes, "Oh, I got some wet." They're coming up there. I got some wet. And then uh, and then out of nowhere, just perfect timing or whatever, a mink strolls across the across her lawn or I don't know I guess there's snow on her, or uh, grass underneath the snow uh mink walks by she's like what's that there lo what's that there what's that there Scott, look fuck huh. mink huh? Yes, lo? the lady who posted it on Facebook deleted her post probably because it blew up so much and she got ashamed of it or something people probably making fun of her like you know how it is people make fun of newfies because I mean they're just a bunch of goofy newfies and talking like that you think we're not very smart or something but you know uh, I'm kind of smart, okay? But anyway, she took she took it down. Uh, but somebody put it up on YouTube, so thanks to that person, because uh, I thought I'd never see it again. <laughs> Be yourself. It doesn't matter what other people think of you, because we got your back. A random dog off the internet. Okay, thanks, thanks random dog. I, I'm trying to be myself, okay? I know I've made a couple of personal videos in the past. I have made some pretty heavy videos, but for the most part, I don't really... Get personal on YouTube. Sure, you knows that from watching my videos. All I does is play a couple of stupid games, and that's it. Like I, I get up and I, <laughs> you know, I just record some stupid stuff, and that's it. So um, I don't, I don't really do that many like vlogs or uh, you know, stuff that's not gaming videos. I don't really talk about myself that much. Honestly, 
I don't have a giant ego. I know it's a lot crazy. This YouTuber doesn't have a giant ego because most YouTubers seem to get seem seem like they got a giant ego because you know you get a couple million subscribers and you think you're all great, but uh, that's not me. So making videos where I'm like, hey, ask me questions, guys. Oh, give me some questions and I'll answer. I'm like, who the, who the fuck wants to wants to hear me ask questions, a a answer questions? Nobody. But I mean, you do. You're here. I do know that I got a lot of people who who enjoy my videos, and that's still something that blows my mind, honestly, because I'm just a goofy noofy, you know. So I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna end it here, guys. I I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. I've been reading all these comments. A lot of them are just the same thing. Like you got an accent? I didn't know you had an accent, or why, why are you covering up your accent? Uh, I think I explained myself pretty well here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the future. I feel like I just uh, broke the seal on something, something big. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna end it there. Hit the like button if you don't mind. That'd be that'd be right, sweetie. Yeah. Thanks a lot. See you later. Yeah. You're still here? I. This is getting really awkward, man. The, click o, click one of these. Come on. Get something that's not full of noofy accents. Just just get something that's uh normal. Go back. You you need a break now from from me, speaking like a noofy. Okay. Go on. Go on now. <laughs>